Um, PK, commiserations on the defeat tonight. Um, why do you think the result went down the way it did? What happened out there throughout the 90 minutes? Uh, I think we went you know, behind early um, with the set piece. Uh, then they got a lucky ricochet and went in. And <laughs> you know, when, you're, when you're in the final and you're 2-0 down uh, early, uh, it, it's very hard to get back. And you know, we pushed and we tried. And you know, unfortunately tonight, uh, you know, uh, we didn't score the goals. But you know, um, when you go behind early in a final, it, it's very difficult to get back, especially a grand final. And what were you saying to the boys out there? What's their mood after something like this? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're, not, they're always going to hurt after a loss, you know, especially in, in a grand final like this. Um, but I said them for them to be proud of themselves. Um, they've had a fantastic year. Um, well, they've had a, a fantastic you know, couple of years. So, you know, <laughs> sometimes you, you need a hurt to grow a bit. And, you know, um, I'm sure they're feeling the hurt now. Uh, but, you know, they've had, a, they've had a fantastic couple of years. So I couldn't be much prouder. Pleased with the response after half time. I mean, the second half you guys had, you know, a lot more chances after not firing many. If I think it was only one for the first half. Were you yeah. happy with what you saw after half? Yeah, time? Uh, it was the reaction that obviously uh, we wanted. Um, you know, in the end, you know, we, we fall short. Um, but again, I, I couldn't ask too much more, especially uh, after half time. Uh, what was the rationale behind the uh, Griffiths start tonight? Um, your thoughts on how how the team played in that respect, especially in the first half. Yeah, I, I think with uh, you know when Griff came on last week, I thought he done a fantastic job. So, you know, I wanted to reward him with his performance. Um, and plus, we knew that they got some big players uh, for set pieces. So, you know, um, that's why he, he you know started before Taras. Do you think McLaren was seeing much of the ball as a result of that? Uh, it doesn't make a difference really. Uh, one person as a six isn't going to provide my J. Sorry? Why does it not make a difference? Uh, Griff is number six, so he's the one that's the anchor. Um, you know, Jamie McLaren's service comes through our, you know, our attacking midfielders and our wingers. So there's not any kind of, let's say, collapse from earlier phases of possession that's creating more space in that respect? Uh, no, not really. Uh, we went with two sixes. Um, so we knew. Uh, you know, due to what we had, you know, we had to win the fight in the middle to you know, allow maybe Florin um, or our wingers to get on the ball. Patrick, phenomenal first season in charge. You were very uh, conscious this time last year to give a lot of the credit to Eric Bombert and you said you were commu communing almost weekly with Eric and it was like a, a, tra a, a coaching partnership. Was that very different this year? Were you sort of flying solo this year or was Eric still part of your... Yeah, I, I, again, I speak to Eric quite a lot. Um, you know, just to, we, we, we speak about football, um, you know, obviously our team and, and then what he's doing at sort of Toir and, you know, we just, just trying to learn as much as you can um, from a person that, you know, has a, a phenomenal uh, football knowledge. All, well, given all that, you know, as I said, you had a phenomenal debut season. Is there a part of you that thinks, you know, you said your players sometimes have to hurt to improve. Is there a part of you that thinks, I can be a better coach now, I know what it feels like yeah, well, to yeah. fail? <laughs> yeah, of course. You know, uh, I've been coaching as a head coach for two years. Um, two premierships and a grand final, I think is a, f uh, a remarkable uh, achievement by the players. Yeah, uh, I can always learn. You know, I learn every day. I'm not perfect, um, so it will hurt myself as well. But it's, you know, it's part of your role as a coach. Uh, you know, you win and you lose. It's you know how you can improve, and you know, um, it's how I can improve as well. Two years ago, obviously, you were the senior assistant to Eric when you fell short in that grand final, and a year later, you obviously go on and you know win everything. What can you take from that? And in terms of, I guess, picking them up and, you know, going again and rebounding next year? Yeah, it's, you know, it, look, I, I think with, with, with the players, you know, I, I think the hunger is always there, you know. Um, and, and, and and again, when, when I look at like, last season to this season, you know, you know, maybe, you know, a, again, a 20-minute 
you know, mislapses, costing us things that maybe last season, where maybe last season we got away with it, and, and this season, you know, you sort of don't. So, you know, it, it's a learning for us to, you know, to know that for 90 minutes you can't switch off. You know, it, it's uh, it's one of those things that, you know, we have to get better in. Um, and it's one of those things that, you know, it will drive the players for next season. I mean, we saw last year Marco Tilio have such an impact in the grand final and finals. We didn't see him really start, come this pointy end. Um, I mean, just the decision making behind that. I know Florin had such a good season. Yeah, yeah you know, a, a, again, you know, you have to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me um, to start Florin and to start Matthew. Um, and obviously when Marco came on, he, you know, uh, I decided to put him on, you know, to change the game a bit um, and put Licky inside. Um, Patrick, during the week there was a couple of quotes about how with a, another premiership and another grand final appearance that he had established a dynasty um, in this A-League. Do you think tonight will affect perceptions of what you've been able to accomplish across this season and maybe even the last uh, few years? I don't worry about perception. You know, a, a, a dynasty is, you know, something that you achieve, you know, <laughs> more than two years or three years. It's a, you know, it's a Sir Alex Ferguson, it's a Bayern Munich, it's a Pep Guardiola, it's over years. You know, we're just in the introduction bit, you know, that's a dynasty, a dynasty is, you know, a, a long, long time for us. We're in the introduction, you know, we've just started and, you know, again, it's something that we can grow from. You know, it's still very fresh, but obviously we know Connor Metcalf's gonna leave as one example of a player. Where do you go to now in terms of recruiting and, those sorts of things. Do you see key areas in terms of Im improving your yeah, squad, I guess? You always, you always want to improve the squad. Um, you know, it's just uh, where do we do that and, and, and who is, you know, um, the right fit for us. You know, we have a certain style and, you know, we'll you know, pick players accordingly to our style.